Today, Ralph joins us from Pennsylvania. He's Freedom Flyer number 214. He spent 14 months in captivity uh, up until 1973. I tried, I tried to eject, but I wouldn't do it. The 560th Flying Train Squadron hosts the Freedom Flyer reunion every year here in March at Randolph Air Force Base. We host POWs who've returned from captivity in North Vietnam during the Vietnam War and returned them back to the flying service. Back in the early 70s, they returned to flying status on active duty. And now today is mostly a celebration of their service and bring their friends and families to put them back up to a T-38, put them in a flight suit, and return to flying again with their Air Force friends. Uh, the amazing thing is just walking through the hallways and seeing the history of their involvement with the POWs, uh, the significance of the POW cause and the missing in action cause, the memorabilia, the artwork in, here behind me uh, is really a testament to the commitment these folks have made on an ongoing basis now for a decade or more uh, to ensure the POWs are not forgotten. So it's really, really impressive what they've done. When you go on an active duty base and realize that even the senior officers are younger than your kids, uh, but it's still fun, the energy is high, there's a commitment to service, commitment to their community, and that's something that I've seen off and on for the past 50 years, even, even after my time on active duty. So it still is a warming environment to go on a military base. Oh, say can you see? It will be a great memory for me, but it's also uh, important for me to come back and see the message and the history and the commitment of, of this squad, of 560s especially, uh, the commitment they've made over decades to ensure that POWs are not forgotten, that we get this one final mission, and recognition for what we've done is really impressive and greatly appreciated. <laughs>